All right, hello everyone. Thought I'd show you how I make my swarm traps. I just made a bunch of them here for the uh, coming season. So it's a pretty simple recipe here. Um, let me grab this paper, which basically just shows you what you need. Uh, 220 by 10 inch, 220 by 11 inch, two 11 by nine inch, and two nine by two inch. Pretty simple, cut those all out. And um, I like to do a couple screws per board. I usually start with the bottom piece and attach a side, and then maybe the other side, and then the front, and then the back. Um, you can kind of get a hang for it when you do it. But for every screw, I found that with plywood, it's good to drill a little pilot hole first and then screw it in. And I also add uh, wood glue to all the seams. Um, I mean, it's not perfect, there's, there's some gaps and whatnot, but uh, I'm basically just building something that the bees will hopefully like, so I don't like it too gappy, if you will. Um, it also, you also need a circular saw to drill holes in the back piece and in the front. Um, I just, I didn't add it on that list, but just a piece of wood, it doesn't really matter what size, um, just attach the back there to hang it. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. So um, the one thing I will add is that on a lot of these, my measurements are just slightly, they cause the box to be just a tad bit too narrow. This one's fine, the frame can fit, but for a lot of them I have to sort of just press it down. So I would recommend that if you follow those sizes, just as you're building it, try your best to, um, you know, bring the sides out as much as you can without, you know, ruining the integrity of the structure. But um, the, the more space, the more length uh, you can have in there, the better it will be. Or you could just add a little bit on your measurements and that won't be a problem at all. You just want to make sure the frames will be able to sit on the ledges there. Um, so, what else? I think that's it. Here's, again, the plans for you. Pretty simple. As far as baiting them, um, usually what I do is I'll do, I can't remember how many frames fit in there, but um, I'll do about four frames that are uh, empty, and then I'll do one frame that's old brood comb. Uh, this is perfect. I mean, it's, it's, it's like moving in a house with no furniture versus moving in a fully furnished house. So this really, 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 really helps. Um, if you don't have any, you can ask around and maybe buy some frames from someone or someone will give them to you. Um, but it, that really does make a big difference. Also, I'm just gonna leave that in there. Um, See, so yeah, that doesn't really fit too well, so I'm gonna have to trim it down a little bit. Uh, I recommend lemongrass oil. I usually just soak it in a Q-tip and then just drop the Q-tip right in there. I also maybe rub a little bit on the front. Also, um, uh, Swarm Commander is great. I was using that last year, it worked pretty great. It's just a little spray bottle uh, right over here. So here's my lemongrass oil, here's my Swarm Commander. And I usually spray on the underneath of the top lid and then another spray on the front. And yeah, that's just irresistible to these guys. And uh, I'll show you here, if you look earlier on my channel, I got some swarms and one of my best spots is literally right here next to my shed on this tree. So I'll show you. My puppy's going crazy. Um, right up there. Say hi, Marty. So right there, I just hang it up right there, facing cell. And uh, man, yeah, I, I catch them all the time. Granted, I've got right back in there, you can see two of my hives, chickens. But uh, yeah, I mean, even in your backyard, you can catch some swarms. And I, I'm running this year, I'll do about six box swarm traps, I think. Um, and I'm gonna run them all throughout the city. Basically, like, 
people are always wondering like, oh, where, where should I go? Where should I put them? And it really doesn't matter too much. Um, frankly, the thing that's best is uh, accessibility, you know, because if you're going and checking and checking and checking, you just want a place that you can access fairly easily. Some, I've got it where I can literally just drive past it and look, and you want to see, you know, are there bees that are flying in and out? They got pollen, does it look like, you know, there's an established colony there, or are there scout bees just flying in and out, checking it out? Um, but uh, I recommend if you do find um, that you've got bees in it, that you act quickly. Uh, I've had several, in fact, here's one box, this box here, you can see where the cluster was. They were right there, building all that black, not building, but just, you know, full of wax. And uh, that one, I believe, is one that I lost. Like, I saw them and I was like, oh, I'll get them tomorrow. I came tomorrow, they're gone. Um, so I, I recommend if you go and you see a cluster, I wouldn't wait for them to move in. I would, um, I had another one last year, which I think was one of the first uh, of the season, and they were on the box still, they hadn't really moved in, that's another video that's on my channel, and I just took the, uh, I don't know if I videoed that actually, but I took the box down with the cluster on the outside and just dumped them right into a, a, a hide box and that was that, and it worked great, and it was an incredible colony, and still is. Um, and I even split it a few times. But uh, anyway, that's the basics of my swarm traps. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd be happy to answer them if I can. I'm still fairly new to this, so I'm learning myself. But uh, after a lot of research, looking at other styles and whatnot, this is a super easy way that uh, has been you know, tried and tested. And I will link to the original place where I found it in the description. Um, just in case that there might be some extra info there or whatnot and just to give them credit. So yeah, that's it for now. Happy bee hunting!